Hey folks, this is part two of the normal distribution videos. And here is what we're after. Um, we have the weights of newborn babies in the United States are normally distributed with a mean of 7.57 pounds and a standard deviation of 1.06 pounds. We might be interested in the cutoff weight for the smallest 10% of babies. Notice this time that I'm giving you the percentage and we are going to find the weight. So let's work with that problem first. Over here on the normal distribution, I know that somewhere in here there is a cutoff so that 10% are hiding out over here. Now I don't know where that cutoff is, but that's what I want to find. So I want to find the cutoff with 10% hiding over here. Okay, and watch me struggle with the, the software. There we go. All right, so let's do it. In Excel, this is norm dot. Now, we did norm dot dist before. That gave you a probability. Norm dot inverse wants the probability and gets the score back out. So I'm going to give it the probability from my score down. So that's 0 0.1. Here's the mean. Here's the standard deviation. Okay, and look at that, 6.2. I actually eyeballed this, not too bad. So I know that at about 6.2, 10% is less, so this should be 6.2 pounds. This is where the cutoff is for the bottom 10%. We could do this a different way. I could find a z-score by doing norm.s.inverse. This takes me to the standard normal distribution. Just put in the probability, that's my 10%. So what this gives me is a z-score, now which is negative, so this is negative 1.2, so it's one, a little more than one standard deviation below the mean, so that jives with what we see here. And now remember, the z-score is the raw score minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Well, if I do a little bit of algebra, I can multiply by the standard deviation, add the mean, and I'll be able to get my raw score back. So if I have the z-score, a little bit of algebra gets me the rest of the way back to the raw score. So I can take my standard deviation times my z-score plus the mean, and pause and do the algebra if you need to, I get exactly back to the same place. Okay, let's do the next problem. Okay, so what I'm interested in now is the cutoff weight for the heaviest 25% of babies. So the heaviest 25%, I'm thinking, is probably somewhere in here where one quarter of the data is sitting over here. One fourth. Right, 25% is sitting over here. Well, what that really means is that three quarters of the data is sitting on the other side. Why is that important? Well, because in all stats software, Excel especially, always reads probabilities to the left of your score. So what I need to do here is say this is the same as the cutoff for the bottom 75%. So now let's use the norm dot inverse command on the bottom 75% with this mean and this standard deviation. Now it should be a little less than 8.6 and it is. Good. So this is measured in pounds. Now let's do this with the standard normal distribution. So that is norm.s.inverse for the standard normal distribution. I'm interested in the 75% cutoff. Again, that's to the left. And that gives me the z-score. Now notice the z-score is positive and a little less than 1. And I have something more than the mean, but not quite one standard deviation from the mean. Again, I can also work backwards using a little bit of algebra and the z-score formula. So standard deviation times z-score plus the mean. Same story. So this is, again, still measured in pounds. Okay, let's do one more. Now I want the middle 60% of baby weights. So in this case, I'm looking to find a cutoff 
where 60% is somewhere in the middle here. So I've got some cutoff value here, I've got some cutoff value here, and I know that 60%, that was supposed to be a 6, so 60%, we'll take that as a 6 just for now, close enough, is there in the middle. That means 40% is left over, and I've got 20% Oh, dang it. Okay, there's 20% over here and 20% over here, which means that when I read down from this one, I'm looking at 80%, and when I read down from this one, I'm looking at 20%. So let's find those two cutoffs. So let's do the cutoff for the bottom 80% first. So that's going to be norm.inverse. That's 80% with this mean and that standard deviation. Now I know it's probably 8.6, 8.7, maybe 8.4. I'm not sure. I was totally just eyeballing it. 8.4. Okay, good. Now I'm going to do the cutoff for the bottom 20%. Okay, so this is equal to norm.dist of... Now that's the 20% cutoff with this mean and that standard, oop, not norm.dist, dang it, norm.inverse of 20% with that mean and that standard deviation. All right. So what this tells me is that 60% that of baby weights are between... 6.67 pounds and 8.46 pounds. And this actually kind of makes sense because we know that between 6.5 and 8.6, we should have 68%. So my cutoff bar actually should have been further in. Anyway, I hope that helps. This is the second of two videos. Good luck out there.